Welcome back to Good Morning Lala Land. I'm so excited to welcome to the show, La Reina. I'm Hola. sure you can say it way sexier than me. <laughs> Teresa Rio is in the house. She is an award-winning actress, and we are celebrating the very successful launch of Narcos Mexico on Netflix. Thank you for being with us this morning. Congratulations Thank on all you. the success. Thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's been an incredible new season, totally on fire. We had Matt Letcher on the show, actually, yesterday oh, really? here promoting oh. it. What's your experience been like being a part of this season? Um, I mean, it's been, it's a, it's a great cast to begin with. I think the, the, one of the great things is not just the story, but everybody who's involved because a lot of us grew up working together. So to come together and do the show and, I mean, I, I grew up here, but I live in Mexico back and forth. So it's great to just go back and shoot and tell the story that is important to my mm -hmm. country and it's important to this country as well. So tell us about that. You, you're from Mexico. You live in Los Angeles now. What is the significance of Narcos for you in your own story? Well, we're, we're coming to tell a story of what happened in the 80s and mm -hmm. how it began, how the, what was the seed of what today is the drug on war. Mm -hmm. And uh, we portray these characters that a lot of the times are, are seen as villains only, which they are. They are criminals. But through the story, what we talk about is that the... Um, business of drugs could not exist without the without the consumers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's basically what what part is the government both governments involved in until what time do they, until how much do they permit it and also uh, we as a society what happens to us when we're taking their money when we're buying these drugs and it, it's a show mm -hmm. that reflects a lot into those and isn't that the point is it's like what comes first the chicken or the egg and what what is really at cause and it's really perspective and when you look at perspective you just mm. like understand it. Right. right, and these people are people that come from a certain social condition that makes, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like to, because I play a, a drug dealer, it's really an exploration of what makes a person want to go through this. Mm. Like what, where are they in society and what is driving them so that they don't care about their family, so that they can do all these ruthless acts and what happens in a human that you can go and, and mm. So in your preparation for this character and in, in portraying this role, mm -hmm. what have you learned about that? What does that feel like? Uh, so it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, I think I've learned a lot about the female struggle, mostly, mm -hmm. because this is a woman that made her way into a man's world in the 80s. So uh, to me, a millennial, a from mm -hmm. 2018, you know, to read those scripts and to have to portray that struggle was really, was really tough. But at the same time, it, it stirred a lot of questions in me, and especially about the dynamics of how men were treating me, how, what I was doing to contribute to that, and what I was not a part, of, what was mm -hmm. not my fault. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot of, I think, what ha the kind of consciousness that the Me Too movement kind of brought to For the sure. surface. Mm -hmm. So it was very interesting for me to be shooting exactly at the time that all of this was coming onto the, the public mm -hmm. eye and to, to explore that. For sure. Mm -hmm. What qualities or traits do you most love about your character? Uh, most love. I think it's um, the drive, of course. But the, the thing is, what she's doing, it's the means do not justify the end. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that I like, like the drive, like the um, fearlessness or the fact that when when these character, this characters go against her, she doesn't just go home and cry and eat chocolates. You know, she finds another way. Mm -hmm. So that's very admirable, but it's also why you do it. So it's less an exploration of power and more an exploration of ambition. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like your character is, is more that is just her culture and what she came in? Or is it more insecurity or both? What would you say, knowing this character? Where is that for her? I wouldn't even locate it on where she comes from. Or it's, I think it's more uh, of a struggle that all women have, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. how do we relate to power? And what happens with society when a woman wants power? You know, because if a man wants power, then it's celebrated and it's, it's great. But if when a woman wants it, then it's punished then she is this, she's that, she's ambitious. So I think it's a struggle that, mm -hmm. that it's important to talk about and it's important to see on the screen because mm -hmm. ultimately um, we should be able to get right. power. So are you having resistance able. in your own life? Because you're stepping into power. You're in a very powerful role. You have mm -hmm. huge act you're a public figure. You know, so what is Stars that? Stars on the rise. Right? So like, mm -hmm. have you had resistance? Have people been like kind of, you're crazy. Why are you doing this? Why do you need all that? 
Um, no, I mean, I work with a lot of men, and luckily they've been very um, supportive, and they've... Uh, they, they, they're just great, all of the men in the show. Nice. And they really care about how to tell the story in a way that, that is truthful, yet it, it can stir up the, mm -hmm. the conversation. I've the read you've studied under some very powerful men, including Al Pacino. Yeah, right? I'm, a, I'm a member of the Actors Studio, and Al Pacino is our artistic director, yes. Uh -huh. And <laughs> is it true that you're the only Latina that's a member of the Actors Studio? Um, I think maybe today. Today, can, yeah. I mean, not that's, Latina. That's, maybe, maybe. I mean, there's. There, I think there's a couple of, of uh, other Latinos, mm -hmm. maybe, but um, Mexican female. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, congratulations. So important to be. I think in this time, a voice for. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. So what, but, but in this times, it's also like there's a lot of the times that I'm the first Latina, first Mexican, for, and that's you know, it's kind of a shame. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, really. Well, We've you're doing been it here for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's time that there is a lot that I don't have to say. I'm the or nobody has to say it's the first anybody, right? right? Yeah, it's a, it's a good point, and it's part of the challenge, I think, um, that exists in this world is, you know, we want to be able to, you want to change things on the surface through politics, you want to change things through, like, prescribing certain kinds of behavior, but until you really change consciousness mm -hmm. of the individual, those are just surface changes, and they're symptomatic, and nothing really changes. So it's right. a great point that you make, and I, I love um, sort of the way that you're um, sort of a poster child for that. What has your personal story been like, you know, in sort of becoming a, per a sort of a successful actress, particularly a Mexican actress? Has it been a struggle? Um, no, I've been very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I have been very, very lucky to um, to have started very young, and then I had a lot of teachers from the actor studio mm -hmm. who embraced me, who brought me, and mm -hmm. and then every, I think at a very young age, I began to work in wonderful films and in Mexico we have some of the greatest cinematographers in the world mm. so they taught me and raised me and it's been a community so um, in that sense I've just been I mean it's hard work that doesn't mean it's just, you know that mm -hmm. I suffer it it's just wonderful just I'm just tired <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's next for you um, well I'm, right now I'm just focused on the show on Narcos I think it's a great a great show that I'm just so happy to be a part of mm -hmm. because of the topics that it speaks about and the and how the people have received it and the and just the cast mm -hmm. that is the most incredible. We love human behavior. You know, it's right? so fascinating getting into the different different universes of it. So thank you so much for your art and your your voice for women and all the above. It's super cool. Tell everyone mm -hmm. where they can find and follow you. Uh, Instagram. I use a lot of Instagram. I think it's underscore Teresa Rue. <laughs> you know. No age, no age. <laughs> 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 Teresa. <laughs> 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 Stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning Wildland.